Yeah. We're starting with breaking news tonight. The Viger Wolves just losing a heartbreaker in the 5A championship game. Oh boy, was it ever. Viger just mm. seconds away from their first state championship in a decade. They lose by one point. Oh my goodness, mm. such a heartbreaker there. Hi there everyone and thank you for staying with us after the game. I'm Lenise Lagan. Hope you enjoyed the NFL game and the Viger game. Oh, so close. I'm Byron Day, everybody. Our Bree McNaught is live tonight in mm. Auburn. Bree, my goodness, mm. what a game. In the playoffs, you know, we yeah, Byron and Lenice, you guys got it right on the tip right there. A heartbreaking loss indeed for Viger here in the 5A state championship. But it was a great game back and forth action all night long. And you know, it really, really hurts my heart to see Viger go home with the loss. But let's take a look at this first half highlights. The Viger Wolves looking to take care of business and finish what they started. But they were off to a shaky start. On Viger's first drive, the big game jitters get the best of them, and it's a fumble. Central Clay County recovers on the Wolves' 29-yard line. A few plays later, the Vols capitalize with the QB keep Philip Ogles for six. Central Clay goes up 7-0 early. Second quarter, the Vols looking for more, but it's a high snap. Goes over the quarterback's head, Jamarcus Snow finding the loose change, and that gives Viger the momentum they needed. The two-point conversion is good. Viger up 8-7. Central says, hey, that momentum belongs to us. The huge hit and the ball is loose. Micah Garrett scooping up the loot, and he takes it to the house for the TD. Ball's back up 14-8. Central Clay County at it again. Titus Tatum getting the tip for the interception, and he's gone to the end zone. Viger, though, not going down easy. Kyle Walker finding his groove, throwing the beautiful ball to James Jackson for six. The two-point conversion is good. Wolves back within five to go to the half. I mean, we've been pretty good. We just Viger would come back storming in the second half, including this 71-yard punt return. Yes, you heard me right. Artel Howell, the playmaker. You can say see you later to that guy. He gives them the game-tying touchdown. They go for two. They get the lead. Then it's back and forth. Like I said, Howell having himself a night. Walker hits Artel, who dips, dodges, weaves, losing Central Clay defenders left and right for the touchdown. Viger goes up 42-36. However, Central Clay gets the final go-ahead touchdown, winning 43-42 in just such heartbreak fashion. However, the Viger Wolves and the entire Wolfpack Nation should definitely tip their hat as the Viger Wolves are your 2018 5A state runner-up. Definitely, like we said, a heartbreaking loss here in Jordan Hare Stadium, 43-42, Viger losing. However, like I said, definitely tip your hat to this Wolf Pack team. Definitely a season to be proud of. Now tomorrow, excuse me, we actually had Flomaton winning the 3A earlier today. They won that one 23 to 12. So we will be bringing at least one blue map home. You know, this go around here in Jordan Hare. But tomorrow, the action continues as we have UMS right at the 11 a.m. game for the 4A state championship. And then at 6 it's Sarah Land taking on Pinson Valley for the 6A state game. So we still have plenty of action to bring you here from Jordan here. But for now, live here in Auburn, I'm Bree McNaught with Fox 10 Sports.